welcome back guys to Impulsive Auditions. It is Logan's X-rated bachelor idea. Hope you guys enjoy it. Logan looks like he just woke up. But let's get into this. Oh, you know the show The Bachelor? Yeah, I dated a girl from Bachelor. Oh, that's right. Great show. Oh, wait. You did? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you did. Yeah, because remember we were like, hey, remember again. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, can we beep out the name, by the way? Oh. Good, good show. Great show. Um, except you never see these people's sexual chemistry, and for some couples, that's a big thing, right? Sexual chemistry. Well, I didn't even see it. No, you don't even see it. Oh. I didn't say you didn't see it. <laughs> I said you don't see it. Okay. It's, it's just, I, I can't be the only one who's like, yo, I wonder how they function in bed together. Like, was it steamy? Was it good? Was they it don't. Shitty? Those was relationships don't last. Like, you or I've watched so many. Like, I don't watch The batch, Bachelor or The Bachelorette, but whenever I visited my friends growing up, they would want to watch it. I don't don't know if it's just like a girly girl thing where models and some, like, those are my girly girl friends, they're like models and that. Why they were into this, but every single time I would visit, it would always be like the last two weeks of The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. And it will show like six months after the the marriage or whatever, and the guys and the girls decide to split. It's it's I think there's only like three of the winners that are still with the people that they ended up with, the people that they gave the last rose or gave the no, ring. It has to. So sexual chemistry is like a bedrock for a successful relationship. I think it has to. What, what I'm saying, I, yeah. I feel the same way. You know, everyone's I, different. I agree. So, um, I'm always curious, but obviously we can't show it. It's a network television show. Adult film X-rated bachelor. Where it, uh, the show as is, but like, they're all willing to fuck on Okay. So, I do know this. There is one. I uh, can't remember what the name of it was. But it was on past, like, flipping through channels and that. And it was late at night, so I'm guessing it's one of those. But they would have it where the guy, it would be two guys, two girls, and they would spend time together. The one guy would spend time with one of the girls, and then later on, the guys would switch girls. And then they'll spend time with that, and then after that, they'll go to dinner, they'll have some fun, they'll go party. It's... Oh, like one episode is dedicated to four people, two two women and two guys. Um, I didn't watch all of it. I just know the premise of it because I clicked the info piece, and it's basically at the end where two people might end up together. You can choose to date, or you can choose to just leave it as is. You don't have to have sex with that person. You can just carry on. It's nice that there is something out there like that. Maybe Logan would watch that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's it's a little muddled. I've been thinking about. I won't do it. I something tells me that it's something along those lines already exists. Yeah, there is. Like a real yep. porn reality show. I would feel like Brad would be into that. Is Brad still a thing? That was two brand mentions. I don't. I don't think. I, I, I saw some. I saw some. I saw some highlights of The Bachelor. Uh, recently, shows kind of. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Let me give you an example of that. Those two claim that guys are players, but they all will watch a guy line up girls and be like, I don't want to date you. You don't get a rose today. You get a rose. You get a rose today. Yeah, like, and then they're like, oh my okay, God. so there isn't just the bachelor, bachelor. There's obviously also the bachelorette where a girl can choose between many different guys and all of these guys are fighting for one chick. It's supposed to be a metaphor of how there's plenty of fish in the sea. And then, excuse me, the more we get to know people, the more we want to be with those people. And that's what the reality show is trying to show us. But you've also got the British Love Island. And you've got, uh, what's it, Mama's Boys, where it's three guys and then there's like a house full of women. But then the moms also live with these women so that they can help their sons get a perfect match. It's kind of convoluted that way. I'm fighting for a girls. Let's not stick together and find our own men, but let's all fight.
fights the same one while fighting for what the fuck it's, is happening? It's fascinating. It's and weird. and, and it's, right? it's weird how the I women come on the know. show and they automatically assume that they're going to be in love with the guy. Like I, I, I don't watch adamantly, but does it ever go the other way where the where the girls say it say it's the bachelor and the girls are yeah. going for the guy and the girl gets involved and gets deeper and deeper into the show and she's like Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. No, but I'm not in love with you, dog. You're the bastard. Um, I'm, not... I'm pretty sure that the reason why that is is because these girls also watch The Bachelor or The Bachelorette, and usually they pick someone from the previous season. So The Bachelorette will come from The Bachelor season that didn't win or came in like the top five. So people already know a lot about her, and then guys that apply for that already know which which girl they're gonna be fighting for and then during the bachelorette they do the same thing with the guy they pick one of the most liked guys from the bachelorette season and then put him as the bachelor the next season so it's just keeps on it's so that women women and guys already know what they're fighting for and if they don't like what they see on the screen they can leave and it has happened before where one guy left the bachelorette because well it wasn't so far in here, I think it was just like the fourth episode. It's one of those few episodes that I that I watched, and the guy left. He he says no, it's getting too much for him. That he doesn't like the fact that he's got to fight for her attention all the time. So then he just left. So there are smart people out there. Not this big, and and and, and, and the cameras and the kissing and multiple women and the. Uh... No, just such deep conversations on camera that probably should be off a camera. I guess that's the show, Bruh, but uh, it's, it's a little awkward I'm sometimes. If you watch the real show, we're all dating a girl, and we have to <clears throat> we split on ice while this girl is on a date with another guy. Yeah, yeah. The ba that's Bachelorette, right? Now, what I'm saying is, yeah. like, regardless of what sex you are, you're fighting for the same, and you're hanging around with people that are trying to date that person. Also, here's another thing. What happens if the main guy doesn't like any of them? Uh, does that ever happen? No. That's, that's yeah, no, it's just it, for it's, the show, it's like sixteen percent. Right? It's like a six. I think yeah, they don't. Or maybe even lower. Like eight, eight to sixteen percent success rate. There's this one season or two. Ari he had silver hair. He's like a silver surfer. Couldn't even be that old. I just thought I thought that was interesting. <laughs> but he he he. She just wanted to say that joke. To the one girl, and then like two three months down the line, he's like, ooh. I I feel like I wanted the other one. Sorry. And then he Hey, sorry. So he calls his producers. He's like, I got something good. They're like, yeah. He goes, I wanted the other one. And then they set up the meeting, and this poor girl walks in, and it's supposed to be like a vacation. He sits her down, and the most sociopathic way is just... You could see the producers walking around in the background in like the reflection of the mirror, and they're zooming in in 4K on this girl's face. The tears are streaming down. <laughs> and everyone's just watching the, heart, the heartbreak live. Do you know how many people are in the room during these conversations? Yeah, I, I don't like the bachelor or the bachelor. Crew, cameras, big lights, a slate. Could you hold that second? Rolling one. We're back in the heartbreak. Reset, reset, reset. <laughs> the Kay. tears are rolling. Go, 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 go. Fuck the lights. It's wild. Let's go. It's wild. But I'm still entertained. I'll continue watching. Uh, that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm in. They get you. They <laughs> no, no, no. Let's just watch every single fucking show. Fuck what happened. What's going on? Okay, well, I mean, okay, let's watch the next episode. Let's watch that. But dude, there's other ones that like, uh, uh, Bride to Be, or like, there's episodes. Love Island. Episodes now where like, you will be married at the end of the No, the bet, no. But those are all, but those are all just. Children's games now. The big ones are the ones. Dylan, you probably know about this. Lo uh, lo marriage at first sight. No, marriage at that's first. That's marriage at first sight. Who? Like you meet and what well, you meet and you get married, right? The Middle East did that. Everybody's Mid talking shit about it. Me get, and then what's the other one? Fifty. Is it ninety day? Fifty day fiance. No, wait a minute. Ninety day fiance. That's the one with my guy Big Ed, right? That puts mayonnaise in his hair. Yeah. So. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Only like if you liked it. And if you dislike it, then dislike it. No hard feelings. So, bye!